Natasha Taylor, and I work for BMC Software, which is a software company, yes, but is not a Google or Facebook uh, type company. It is, um, it really, the software that BMC creates runs other um, companies' back office functions for the most part. And we still have mainframes, we still support mainframes. Um, so our employees are a little different mix than you would find maybe at a more traditional software company. They're a little older, the technology's a little different, and the products that we produce are a little different. From my perspective, I'm uh, the director of benefits at BMC. We are, we've invested in employee engagement because the, for us initially, the topic of benefits is really kind of boring and most people don't want to be engaged with it unless they have to. Um, so we were trying to make it fun and actually educate our employees. Um, what, that hap what happened with that is it kind of created a cultural revolution over the years that actually then um, kind of waterfall effect down. So uh, it ended up where the benefits team got invited to sit on the committee when we standardized our office spaces so that we could make it more fun and more engaging for our employees. Um, BMC does understand that a more, I've had to sell this a lot um, to get my, just my benefit stuff passed, um, is that an engaged employee is a more productive employee. Um, and an engaged employee is going to be able to sell the product better or create better products. Um, and from my perspective, an employee who understands her benefits and understands where they need to go for what, um, or a healthier employee is a more productive employee, is a more engaged employee. I think showing actually the engagement numbers, um, so I can bring in stats on um, you know, productivity tied to a healthy employee um, or um, engagement tied to the health of an employee. And they look at that, but I really do think that our track record of showing how engaged we can get our employees to be in things when we make them interesting, when we make them fun, when we make them engaging, um, I think is really actually what gets our C-suite that, and I'm extremely persistent. I think that one of the issues that we're facing in our workforce is that our employees aren't the traditional employees that we've seen in the past, right? So our employees don't go to companies and work for them for 20, 30, 40 years and retire from them. Most em new employers or new entrants in into the employment workforce are staying at companies for a year or two, maybe five. Um, and then we're even seeing a further change where we don't get full-time employees now. Now we get contractors. So we've got this person who's an expert and we need them to work for us on this specific product, um, but they have you know, two other companies that they also work for. So we're not getting them for a full 40 hours a week and we're not getting all of their attention. So how do you reach those in people? How do you keep them engaged and how do you make them want to do more work for your company? Start with an idea um, of your end goal. And I say the idea because your end goal will probably change. Um, and then the best, the most success that we've had is when we've made things fun. Um, we make it different from what everyday life is like at our company and that makes things, maybe if they're not always fun, they're at least interesting because it's different and it's something new. Employee feedback is so key. Really listening to your employees, um, hearing what they have to say and then giving them, you know, some version of what they want. <laughs>